Until Dawn until Dawn is a survival horror video game from Supermassive Games that hit shelves in 2015. Fans of horror games were eager to live through a harrowing experience as one of many characters that were attempting to survive the night at the Blackwood Pines Lodge. Given that the game is a horror title, players could expect a terrifying experience on par with popular horror movies. The main pull of the game was that the choices that players were presented with would steer their course through the game and decide whether or not all the characters survive the night. It goes without saying that the game itself would include its fair share of horror horror tropes from death to jump scares, which is typical of anything in the horror genre. Japan, known for their often overboard horror movies, is not a fan of violence in video games. While Until Dawn is certainly not the first game in Japan to be censored, the heavy-handed attempt at censoring one particular scene is almost laughable. In this scene, two characters are tied up and threatened with a circular saw that inches closer to them every second. Most versions of the game show the gruesome scene, but Japan chose to entirely black out the screen, which seems un necessary as the game is already rated 0Z for adults only. Team Fortress 2 Developed by Valve, Team Fortress 2 is a popular first-person shooter with several different modes of gameplay to choose from and fierce competition. Considering that Team Fortress 2 is a first-person shooter, most gamers are fully aware of what they're getting into when they decide to play the game and eagerly enjoy blasting fellow players in the virtual world. While violence in a virtual world is typically no problem, there are some countries that take issue with violence in video games. Germany is one such country that does not appreciate human-on-human -human violence, and the country actively takes steps to to ensure that their citizens are not exposed to violence in video games. Germany's issues with Team Fortress 2 stem solely from the fact that the game tends to go comically overboard with the violence that appears in-game. Germany's solution to this problem was not to ban the game. Instead, Germany sought for the developer to remove humans from the game itself. It appears as though the country is okay with robots being blown to bits and black goo instead of red under humanistic heads. Heads without bodies appear to be okay too, so long as they only look like humans while possessing robots qualities such as a spring emerging from the neck. For those of you who love ad-free viewing and free things, we're excited to announce the Premium Network. The Premium gets you early access to videos from The Gamer, CBR, Screen Rant, and many other great channels. Literally thousands of videos in one place with ad-free browsing. How sweet is that? Sign up for free the Premium by clicking the link to start binge-watching videos from your favorite channels. Ice Climber Ice Climber was released by Nintendo in 1985 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. In Ice Climber, players would climb and carve their way through several ice-covered mountains in order to recover stolen vegetables from a condor. The game seems innocent enough, and the general idea is on par with Nintendo's branding as a whole. American players may remember playing as either Popo, the character in the blue parka, or Nana, the character in the pink parka, and spending their time carving through the mountain levels. Another aspect of the game that American players may remember was clubbing enemy yetis on their way to retrieve their stolen and goods. Players from other countries may remember the enemies a little differently, however. Nintendo felt as though American audiences couldn't handle the original enemy they intended for the Ice Climber game and ultimately ended up changing them into Yetis instead. What exactly did Nintendo think American audiences couldn't handle? Seals. Popo and Nana were set to battle Seals in a different version of the game, and Nintendo felt as though the imagery was too much for Americans. Instead, they opted to replace the Seals with adorable Yetis. Since the Ice Climber characters have since appeared in the Super for Smash Brothers series, perhaps Nintendo was correct in replacing the seals in order to make the game more appealing. Carmageddon with a name like Carmageddon, there's no doubt that this game will contain at least a mild level of violence. Released in 1997 by Stainless Games, players race against competitors in various virtual landscapes. While the main goal is to win the race overall, players can engage in all sorts of violent behavior in order to gain bonuses. Said bonuses could be earned by taking out other cars and, most notably, destroying pedestrians. Carmageddon does have exaggerated violence, and pedestrians often explode in a pixelated red goo when they're hit. With those types of over-the-top graphics, it's certainly understandable that some people may take issue with the violence being portrayed in Carmageddon. The developers, however, were hoping for an adult rating for the game when they submitted it to the British Board of Film Classification so they could utilize the edgy rating for more publicity. Unfortunately, Britain wasn't having it and refused to classify the game at all unless the developers removed the controversial images from the game. The solution was to replace the humans with robots and zombies who squirted oil and green goo, respectively. The humans were later added back into the game with a patch after its initial release. Contra 
Contra is an iconic video game originally released in 1987 with numerous titles in the series that span several years. Most hardcore gamers have played at least one version of Contra at some point in their lives. In fact, the love of Contra is so prevalent that it's sometimes been credited with popularizing the famous Konami code. Contra as a whole is not an overtly violent game. The enemies typically consist of monsters and technological threats. Of course, Contra is a side-scrolling shooting game where the characters have to regularly blast their enemies in order to survive and win the game. But the game itself is usually innocuous enough that no gamer, no matter how squeamish, would give it a second thought. So who would have issues with the Contra series? Germany again found issue with the potential of violence against human characters. While the easier route probably would have been banning the game entirely, Germany had a different idea regarding what the developers could do with the game in order to make it German friendly. The Contra that American gamers are familiar with has humans as playable characters. In Germany, the main characters have been changed to robots in order to remove violence towards humans within the Contra franchise. God of War Loosely based on Greek mythology, the first God of War game was released in 2005 for the PlayStation 2. Since its initial release, the God of War series has become a staple on PlayStation consoles and, due to its popularity, is set for a soft reboot in 2018 that's said to be focused on Norse mythology. Gamers familiar with the series already know that the game contains a certain level of adult themes, from violence to nudity, and they've come to expect that from the series. God of War is certainly no stranger to explicit scenes, but some countries were not pleased with with the level of violence in some God of War Ascension scenes and opted to censor them in order to downplay the violence. The deaths of Castor and Pollux in-game were specific instances of violence that certain countries did not want to see released to their citizens. Rather than banning the game outright, some countries opted to censor these scenes specifically. Instead of focusing on the source of mild gore, the camera is raised slightly so that the violent acts are slightly off-screen, making the scenes more tasteful for countries that couldn't handle the explicit scenes. Fallout 3 the post-apocalyptic open world of the Fallout series has been entertaining fans since the first title was released in 1997. The game itself has a storyline steeped in nuclear apocalypse and ruin due to technology and the atomic age, and gamers often spend countless hours traversing the wastelands in the Fallout series. In such an environment, players can count on running into friends and enemies as they make their way through the game. Inevitably, there's a possibility of combat, as players can be equipped with various weapons throughout the game. However, the combat is not what proved troublesome for one country. The Megaton settlement and storyline is what gave Japan pause, for obvious reasons. In the game, Megaton is built around an undetonated atomic bomb. Players are also given the option of detonating the bomb, and the entire storyline was removed before being released in Japan. The Fat Man, a personal nuke launcher, was also removed from the Japanese version of the game. Given that the entire game basically revolves around nuclear fallout, it's a wonder that Japan didn't ban the series outright, and instead sought to find a way to have the game released to their citizens on their terms. Call of Duty World at War Another first-person shooter in the Call of Duty franchise, World at War was released in 2008 and included an entirely new mode of gameplay to the series. Once the main campaign's been completed, players could opt to play the newly unlocked Nazi Zombies mode in which players fight to survive against waves of Nazi undead. The addition of zombies was well-received, and given the history of World War II, players were eager to take out the enemy, especially once zombies were involved. Since the Call of Duty franchise is a first-person shooter, it's expected that there will be plenty of combat within the main campaign along with any unlocked content. Since the game was in fact released, it wasn't the violence itself that drew ire from Germany. In fact, the Nazi zombie mode of gameplay was removed from the game entirely for release in Germany. Obviously, Germany has understandable issues with the use of swastikas, which the zombies were wearing, but instead of altering the uniforms of the zombies themselves, Germany saw fit to have the entire Nazi zombie mode removed. Grand Theft Auto 3 Since the first title in the Grand Theft Auto franchise was released in 1997, developers have caught some flack over the crime and violence portrayed in the game. Grand Theft Auto differed from previous action-adventure games in that the plotline was typically seedy and steeped in the criminal underbelly of the cities that the games took place in. Understandably, some parents did not want the young gamers in their homes exposed to the criminal element of the franchise, and the game has been a staple for adult gamers. Given that numerous people took issue with the violent storylines, theft, and criminal aspects, of the game, it's no surprise to find Grand Theft Auto on this list. Surely some country, if not several, would either want to outright ban the game entirely or heavily censor it before it was released to their citizens. Germany and France took the game to task, cutting out as much violence as possible in order to deem the game acceptable for release. Blood was disabled entirely, pedestrians no longer lost limbs, and an NPC that was engaged in a fight could no longer be attacked if they were lying down. With the reputation the Grand Theft Auto franchise has, it may have been less time-consuming to ban and the game entirely.
Wolfenstein The New Order A popular first-person shooter, Wolfenstein The New Order focused on a storyline involving Nazis and, of course, combat against said Nazis. If the earlier entries on this list are any indication, it's a given that the plotline and imagery did not sit well with Germany, obviously. World War II aside, the German government does not recognize video games as art, and therefore they're not given the same protections as other pieces of art. Since Wolfenstein featured swastikas and Nazis heavily as the main story revolved around it, it goes without saying that Germany sought to have this game heavily censored in order for it to be released in their country. The enemies were rebranded as The Regime. All swastikas and all references to the Schutzstaffel and the double S symbol were also removed from the game and replaced with the Wolfenstein symbol. Germany wasn't the only country to have issues with Wolfenstein The New Order either. The Japan release also saw its fair share of censorship, but Japan's changes dealt more with nudity than anything. Any references to nudity were cut down and characters were covered up in order to make the game more acceptable for release in Japan. Wow, well, there you have it. What do you think of censorship in video games? Let us know in the comments, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content. And don't forget to check out our playlist. Thanks for watching!